I believe it started, um, first of all, about in the 1920s in the USA. The depression and everything going on, it was something for women to do. It escalated a bit in the 30s. By the 70s, I believe it was reasonably big. Late 90s, kind of early noughties, there was a big explosion again. Some people described it as being a bit WWF or WWE. <laughs> um, it got a bit kind of staged. Some people tend to think that it's fake, but it's, it's really not. Like, we train three to four times a week. We don't have any fake moves. We can't elbow. We have a rule set that we follow, so none of it's fake. Your normal game is going to be two periods of 30 minutes, um, divided in jams. You have on the track from each team, there's one jammer, there are blocker two, three, and four, and there's a pivot. Blockers? are basically just there to help their jammer go through and to prevent the other jammer from going through, the opponent jammer. The jammer basically starts slightly behind the pack. The first whistle goes, the pivot and the blockers all set off and they're all kind of mingling together and kind of hitting each other and <laughs> trying to get the best positions. The jammers, their point is just to get through the pack and score as many points as possible. The first jammer that makes it out of the pack gets the title of lead jammer. The first one is called lead jammer by the, one of the jam refs. The next time they go through the pack, they start scoring points. And for each member of the opposition they pass, they score a point. So the lead jammer could get through and the other one's stuck at the back and they can bank those points by calling off the jam. By going like this. This. Penalties are being given as the play goes. Whenever a player has four minor penalties or one major, she skates off, goes to the penalty box for one minute. She's going to have to sit down in the sink bin. And play continues without her, so basically they're playing short-handed. Now it's a contact game, so there's going to be a lot of falling. <laughs> Checks are good. Uh, you can't use like your hands to push or to grab or pull. You can't hit below the mid-thigh, you can't hit above the shoulders, you can't hit in the back also. You'll get a few little things, a twisted ankle, um, you know, somebody will get their fingers skated over. We have had a number of different concussions and some other interesting injuries. It's a very new sport and it's just growing every time and the popularity is growing. If you could have seen the crowds that were at the championships, for example, it was completely sold out about. <laughs> and it's not just family, friends and mums sitting there waving, you know, it's, it's people that hear about it through word of mouth or see flyers and they come along and they may not have a clue what the rules are but they just absolutely love it and they just get right into the atmosphere of it and it's fantastic.